Hello, everyone. Welcome to Aptera Owners Club. Um, it sounds like beta is coming pretty soon. I got this email newsletter for them, and basically they said that they've released full tooling for suspension, body, glass, and closures. So um, it looks like, I don't know if this is the full tooling for just the beta or if this is the full tooling for the production vehicle. Um, I'm guessing it's just for beta, but I would think that um, suspension body glass enclosure shouldn't change too much. I think that's hopefully been sort of finalized. Maybe the suspension is, um, is going to change. So I'm guessing this is tooling for the beta. Um, if you guys remember from this uh, webinar about the beta, there's Alpha, which is the three vehicles, Noir, Soul, Luna. Luna, we haven't seen yet. We've seen Soul and Noir. Um, and then next is Beta. And so they're currently, this sounds like this is where they are. We should hopefully see Beta um, uh, beta vehicles pretty soon. And these are probably the vehicles that are going to be very close to the release candidate. And um, they would probably start doing crash testing and those kinds of uh, more real world testing on the beta vehicles. Um, they also released an update um, a few days ago, two days ago, where they talked about the uh, beta release. We just hired him as our new vice president of production and procurement. Hi, Chris. How are you doing, Pablo? Good. Okay, yeah, so Pablo has an incredible vision for Aptera, and he brings us great experience from SpaceX and Faraday, and he'll be integral to helping us get to our 40 vehicle a day production goals soon. Okay, so 40 vehicles a day, that's a pretty um, ambitious production goal. But um, Pablo Yukar is from Faraday Futures and SpaceX, so he has um, experience doing uh, procurement and supply chain management for a a electric vehicle company that sort of failed. So hopefully there's some lessons learned from that that he brings to Aptera. And then he also worked with SpaceX, which obviously is a successful company. So he, I think that's great that they already have a supply chain executive on board. And of course, they've been working with Roush and Monroe and Associates. So they are thinking about production right from the beginning. So they're thinking about supply chain and production right from the beginning. So they're not just... Um, making prototypes, but they're making prototypes with the goal of making these prototypes easy to manufacture and easy to find the supply chains for. So that's good. And then they have this um, uh, Aptera Maker series where they talked about the solar, and I thought this part of the thing was interesting. Our approach here for designing a module that's efficient is really to explore our options for encapsulating materials that protect the cell from degradation over time while also exploring uh, various material properties such as uh, transmittance and uh, reflectance from the materials. We are designing our solar panels so that they should be able to uh, be changed out in your vehicles. Um, so as solar technology improves over the years, we do hope that Aptera users will be able to come into a shop and be able to replace the solar modules on their vehicles. So hopefully this will be a technology that uh, will get better over time. And All right, great. So two things, I guess they have not figured out or decided on what kind of encapsulation material they're gonna use. So that's um, still up in the air and hopefully they will sort that out over beta. And then two, uh, it looks like they're making the, um, the panels replaceable which is kind of surprising to me because if you look at the pictures of it, um, it looks like it's integrated into the body and glued down. But that, that's good news to me that they're making it replaceable because you know solar panels degrade over time. I have solar on my roof and the performance of the solar panels over the past 10 years has degraded. Um, so it's good that they're making it um, replace, easy, they're building it in a way that's replaceable. So I'm looking forward to seeing these um, beta devices uh, the beta vehicles soon and hopefully you know they are supposed to be um, they you know they targeted end of 2001 so that's just you know three four months away can we get we're like ha we're like between alpha and beta can we get from here to here in three to four months i think that's pretty optimistic 
Um, but, you know, if they're able to do it, that would be great. You know, realistically, I think that um, it's most likely next year when we're going to get to actual production. Um, I, I'd be impressed if we got a release candidate by the end of this year, actually. But um, hopefully that they can do that. So we know right now they're working on beta, and I think we'll get a lot more answers to the questions um, that we're having in terms of safety and performance and um, that kind of stuff when we see the beta vehicles. All right, thanks for watching.